lot of the residents are sad, and as in the staff, we've worked with them for so long, and we're trying to, to come up with ways to, that Tom would to, to honor him, you know, in a, in a special way. Plans to honor the 92-year-old man who was tragically killed by three teenagers in a stolen car in Brighton last week. That's what the friendly home in Brighton is planning for Thomas Chase. He volunteered at that nursing home for 30 years and left from it the day he died. Our Marsha Augustin shows us just how much he meant to that community. I'm sitting here at Tom Chase's piano. It's where he played for 30 years every Thursday for dozens of residents here at the friendly home. He played here last Thursday. Many residents say they will miss him dearly. Tom Chase had a special bond with residents at the Friendly Home by sharing his love of music with them. Brandon Bonomo has been the life enrichment coordinator for 14 years and says it's something that brought Tom joy and he took pride in. And then every week the week um, ended with him performing at cocktail hour where residents could socialize and have a drink and he would um, play the piano right here. Everyone enjoyed watching him play those sweet melodies. He was just a dedicated human being and he just wanted to give back to the, to the community and to the people of the friendly home. It's hard and it still is hard because we, it's still, people are grieving. It was business as usual that Thursday. Every day Tom would come in and say hi to everyone as he passed through the lobby. He would go into the auditorium, and as staff was setting up for cocktail hour, he would get the piano ready. But when he left the friendly home that afternoon, he never came back. He was driving down East Avenue in Brighton when he was hit by three teenagers in a stolen car who were being pursued by police. The friendly home's been here for 175 years, and Tom Chase has been part of it for 30 of those years, and it's hard for us to imagine you know, the friendly home without him. Brandon says things will no longer be quite the same. Thursday will be the first time in decades Tom will not be there for cocktail hour. Staff have plans in the works to honor and remember him. We have a memorial service here that the residents can attend. Um, and we don't, we don't really know, but we're going to find something to do because he was very special to us. Staff at the Friendly Home say although Tom is no longer here, his legacy and gift of music will live on forever. Reporting in Brighton, Marsha Augustin, News 10, NBC.